Welcome. It's a Monday morning. Uh, here's hoping that you started out by oh, picking one of the uh, dailies. And we are going to be giving you a head start on that one by giving you the headlines. And with me, of course, is the delectable superwoman herself, Titi Onisa. <laughs> you are welcome. Thanks. Good to have you here. All right, so together, let's do the headlines. Um, if you're out there, you can follow. So we start with the Guardian newspaper for July 24th, a Monday. Southeast loses 7.6 trillion naira productivity investment to agitate in two years, uh, to agitation rather, in two years. And that's a lot of money actually to be losing. Um, you can uh, imagine how much of that has gone to uh, re regarding the sit at home instances that are <clears throat> prevalent there. And from the top here, from prison to correctional center, what has changed? Good question there for the Guardian newspaper. At the bottom of the photo story, we have these headlines here. APC, NWC, Lookman, Lockhorns over parties, chairmanship, and discordant tunes over elongation of judges' tenure in office. Finally, for The Guardian, Lagos flays rumored burial of NSAR's victims. We will talk much about that as we have it uh, spread across all the dailies. You have another daily for today, which uh, is it? Yes, I do. I have with me, I have with me the Nation newspaper. Mm -hmm. And it says here, APC uh, neck to ratify Ganduje Bashiru as chairman, uh, secretary. Party caucus endorses choices and uh, why Adamu Omishuri had to go, according to Lukman. Um, it also says here, why I deserve uh, re-election, it says uh, by Uzo Dima. And uh, apparently many feared killed in Ore fire. Page six has more mm. on that. <clears throat> Now, there's a lot of stories on what the markets are up to. Mm -hmm. uh, everyone's been watching the Forex market uh, when it comes to the interest rate, inflation. Uh, markets await monetary direction from CBN's MPC. And, of course, uh, the agenda of Apex <coughs> Bank's first post-Buhari parley. Story mm -hmm. starts there on the cover and uh, wraps up <coughs> on page four. I was actually going to touch on this issue uh, a little because it does feel like um, because there hasn't been any direction, mm -hmm. the markets are sort of all over the place. Not many people are able to make specific plans as mm -hmm. to what's going to happen in the next quarter because they just don't know if they're going to have enough money to make exactly. it happen. Even the common man now, maybe who has a child in a school abroad, is mm -hmm. wondering whether he actually can afford the fees for his, his child's uh, tertiary. I think it pervades everything, right not just everything. them outside yeah. the country, even you here as a parent here, wondering how much of an increase you're going to expect for the next term. Yeah. If you own a business, you're wondering where you're going to get Forex from, especially yeah. if you rely on exports or ra rather yeah. imports. So there's a lot that's hanging on the decision by the Apex Bank. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah it, it goes without saying. Mm. And, uh, of course, there is still so much debate on what's happening with the former governor or mm. what the suspended mm -hmm. uh, governor as present. Uh, now, it also says here in the center, top center there, Nigerian equities outperform global stocks with about 1.3 trillion naira gain. Um, but it is in naira. Mm -hmm. So how much is the gain really if mm. it is in naira, in quote? Um, Shatima in Rome for Global Food Security Summit. IMF forecasts weak growth inflation surge uh, next year. Mm. Uh, let's see what else we have here. Court of Appeal, e-transmission of results not mandatory. Now, that has been a debate that was even trending online for a little mm -hmm. while. Um, for joining police, uh, my lover left me, says IG. Um, well, it, it, you know, this is an interesting uh, debate, actually. Um, when people think of law enforcement probably abroad, mm. you know, they're, they're not really opposed to you know, uh, getting into relationships with them. Mm -hmm. But I feel like the, there is a certain air or stigma around uniformed officers here in Nigeria. Is there? Yeah, I've, I've actually, I know of a friend who actually, once she discovered a particular uh, friend of hers was an officer, she just stopped talking to the person. What, I wonder what I'm kind of sure. fear, what do you have I'm under sure. your hood? <laughs> Maybe, it is many different you know, issues. Many Probably different issues, Maybe I guess. they had some skeletons in their closet perhaps, they thought perhaps. Uh, could be exposed, yeah. but maybe they just don't trust the uniform True. as they as they should. Let's move on now to the Punch newspaper, shall we? Um, big headline here for the Punch. Uh, workers kick as governors borrow 2.2 trillion naira from banks. Governors borrowing spree has left states poorer. Pensioners uh, and workers lament. Uh, government must avoid short-term borrowing. 
um, that may harm state finance, Duns warn. At the top for the Punch newspaper, Senate gears up for ministerial screening, awaits lists this week. About time and dollar now 876 naira as forex shortage worsens. Not only is it that expensive, you also have to source for it by means that, you know, only you know how. Very difficult. Aganduje intensifies lobby as National um, Center APC demands uh, chairmanship slot. At the bottom of the Punch newspaper, once again, we're back to this story here. Hashtag NSARS 103 recovered buddies not lucky to get victims, says Lagos. Plenty of talk about this from over the weekend with people claiming that there are, um, there must have been certain uh, instances of buddies from the toll gate um, and others not. There were certain documents that were flying around, but you can get most of this information from the papers this morning. On the punch, you can find that inside of page 16. Now, NDLEA seizes 3.7 billion naira tramadol at Lagos Airport. I'm wondering exactly how these are transported all the way up until the airport. Nobody knows up until then. Very interesting um, story there. And, of course, finally, Ogun begins probe as eight die after alcohol bout. Uh, that's it for the punch newspaper. What else do we have? Uh, I think that's all we can really mm. take uh, on uh, the headlines in the dailies as of right now. But, of course, we would love to hear your opinion on uh, what you've heard today. Uh, now, your com the comment section is right there for you. And, of course, our hashtag, Wake Up Nigeria on TVC.